Welcome, my dear students, back. Uh, this is your instructor, Dr. Osama Kashwa, and we will handle today a new topic in Excel and the uh, business applications of Excel program. And today we'll talk about the statistical mood, the statistical mood. So what do you mean by the statistical mood? The mood is the frequency or the most repeated number or the highly repeated number. As example, if I have one, two, two, five, seven, which number is repeated here? Two. So the mood means the frequency, the most frequent, the number which had been repeated or the, the most extremest repeated number of them. So this is the meaning of the mood. Uh, now let us go to an example here we have, we have, those are the departments, a factory, this for and a factory with the wages or the pay of the employee, one employer on January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September. And in the departments, like in production department, in marketing department, in human resource department, financing department, logistic department. And what we want to know here is we need to have the mood. First, the mood of every department, like first of all, calculate the mood of every department. Mood of each department, calculate the mood, the second request, calculate the mood of and the wages of wage of the wages of the wages in this factory so we have two uh, process we will do a mood for each department and the mood for the factory itself for each department then for the factory itself remember we are talking now about the mood okay let's verify to get the mood of this series one thing we'll do first, we will have to go uh, to open a spreadsheet or Excel from the start menu. You will find it if you pin it on the start menu, that's fine. Or go to all programs, you will find it in all programs. That's the first point. Second point is that you will uh, paste special. I will come here first and say copy. What you will do is the cross here of the table. I draw this out, out in that another separated word table. Now I will show you how to take or export from Word into Excel, how to export a written file. All you will do is just stop on the file. Here we go again. You will stop on the cross here. Then you will say copy. That's it. Then you will go to the Excel. We have Excel you book here then what we will do is paste special paste special here we go then i will get the dialog box he will ask me where i will say by html html because it's not picture and it's not unicode text or text it's html then okay here we go we have the same table which was issued in uh, board. We now issued it here on into an Excel. We export it into Excel. Uh, but still, I'm not satisfied with the figure of the the form of the table. I just want to enlarge this cell. So all I will do is just stop and move, drag and drop with the click on the on the left of the mouse and drag and drop. So to, also, if I want like the to make bold, I can go here and make it bold. Also, I can make it here bold. That's fine. And whatever I need, like if I want to write or whatever, it's okay. So now we have active cells. Like as example here, if I press 100, the B is shining in orange and four. Where are the vertical and horizontal intersection? So here 144 C and 4. 
Here is an example for D and 6 and so on. Okay, this was the first part. Let us go to our request now. Calculate the mood of each department. So I will have to get the mood of each department. The first department is the production department. I want to calculate the mood for the production department. That's fine. All I will do is just stop here on the in front of the production and I will go to the FX. Usually, if you don't want to work on most recently used here, when you get when you stop here, it will give you a, the Excel will give you a dialog box. A dialog box. So you can go for because you know we're working on statisticals now. So we'll go for the statisticals. And from there we'll choose the mood. Okay. They are arranged in alphabetical. So go to the letter M. Go to the letter M. C, D, E, F, G, H. Here we go. M, we need mood. This is G, I, G, K, L, M, max, median, min, mood. Here is the mood. Then we press it. Now he's giving me, tell me, what is the range of the mood which you want? You want it from B4 till J4? Yes, that's what I want from B4 to J4 because I'm calculating the mood or the famous or most repeated wage for the, the production department. I'm seeing which number is mostly repeated for the production department or most common in production department. That's right. Then I will give okay to confirm. I think something went wrong. We want to get the mood here in the series, FX, the mood. Yeah. It's not available because we don't have a, a repeated number. But let us try something like this. Let us try here and this cell, let us try 150. And check out when we come here, see? Now we calculated the mode 150 because 150 is repeated. That's why I showed you here. Okay, let's see in the second, in the second, uh, the NA is in an available, non-available, or unavailable because, because there is nothing is repeated, no frequency. So we must make sure like this. Let us see the second row, 200, 400, 500, 270, 150, 280, 240, 700. Uh, if there's any repeated number, let us see. We'll go to the mood and check out for the mood itself. Here we go the mood and check out if there is mood here or no. Then we'll say from B, we need it from B. B five to J five. J5. Let us see. Will it work or no? Not available. You know why not available? Like we said before, it's not available the mood here because there's no frequency. Okay. Let me try another thing. Let me put a number, uh, repeat a number because you said the mood is the repeated number or the most frequency. Let's say 170 here in this cell. Then try the mood here. Look now. It's 170 because it's repeated, 170. Okay, let me try in the second and the third one now to change the number here. Number is 200. And I will put here also 200. And I will put also here 200. Check out the mood here now. If I want the mood here, I will go for FX and go till the mood. statistical and get the M. Here we go, the mode and see. From K4 to K5, 
no, actually, we wanted from, uh, let's see, we need to get the mode here from B6 to J6, from B6 into J6. And let's check out. Exactly, it's $200 because we said the most frequently uh, is 200 or the common wage in the human resource department, the common wage is $200 because it is repeated three times. Once it's repeated, there will be a, a mode. Once it's not repeated, it will give you none available. And this is very good experience for all of us to see if I, by mistake, input uh, different numbers where there is no mood between them, then the answer is non, not available. The answer will be not available. Uh, also, the same problem on the next and the next one. So this will be, I will leave it for you as exercise, or we can do here as example, we will put 180 here uh 180 and let's see now i want to calculate the mode as well let's go again and get the mode here and here from no we want the mode from uh b b7 to j7 so i will give him from here from b7 to j seven and let's see how it works okay yeah 180 why because i have 180 here and i have 180 here they are repeated so the mood here is 180. uh the last one let's say as example let me change the number here if i give it like this now and i ask it for the mood and there's no repeated number then will give me not available because mood exists when there is a frequency of numbers. If there is no frequency, then there will not be mood. There will not be any mood. Okay. This is the meaning of the mood. It means like, like when you ask someone, what is the common, what is the common wage in this factory? What is the common wage? The common means the most repeated one. And this is the mood. It will give me an unavailable here, I guess. Yeah. If I even if I give if I give it the same, like let's see from uh, B8 to J8, I will tell him from B8 to J8, B8 to J8. And let's see what will happen. Not available. Now all my dear students, you know why it's not available. Why it's not available? Because there is no number repeated here. But let me go out. Okay, okay. And go back and make a number repeated like the 300, I will change the cell and put here 300. And I will go ask for a mode now. Let us do that. Uh, we'll go here and ask for the mode in this case. Then, yeah, here is the mode. Now I think it will give me 300, let's see. But we have the cells from, to give the range of the cells from B8 to J. Eight. So the cells will be from B8 to J8. And so on, here we go. Yes, 300. So now my dear students, you know what is the meaning of the mode? The mode is the most frequent or the common or repeated, simply the repeated uh, phenomena. If we are studying wages, then it is the repeated wage. Uh, if we are studying any kind of studies like uh, numbers, as example, the height of people, the most repeated height, which is, which had been repeated many times or frequently, most frequently used. Okay. If there is no uh, similar numbers in the row or the column which you are working on, don't expect that the FX will give you a mood. It will give you none available. But if uh, there is a repeated number, similar numbers, then in that case, there will be a mood. Uh, another trial I just want to do before I leave here, 
So if I, as example, make this is 102, let's do like this, and this another 150. So we have two numbers repeated now, or three numbers. And let's do this also 100, and let us see how will be the mood here. And we'll go and ask for the mood. Will giving me, will he give me a mood? The Excel will give me a mood. I have now two numbers, three numbers repeated. And I have also, uh, so I have two numbers repeated and three numbers repeated. Okay, let us see how it works now for the mood itself. Okay, I give the mood and say, yes. Okay, okay. And the range is from B4 to J4, exactly from B4 to J4, that's right. And I would ask him, give me please the mood. Be gentle and give me the mood, okay. Okay, dokie. He gave me the mood is 100. Why the 100? Because the 100 is repeated three times. While the uh, 150 is repeated only two times, for that reason, he gave me the one which is more repeated. The one which is more repeated. So expect like I will ask you a question like this. Give me the mood here, give me the mood here and comment why. Again, will sum up all what we said today about the mood. The mood is the most repeated, the mostly repeated number uh, in the series. So if we have uh, a number that's repeated and you ask it for the mood, determine the range, then give okay in the dialog box and confirm, then it will give you the most repeated number in the series which you are looking through. But if there was no repeated numbers in your series, then in that case, the, the Excel will give you NA, means not available, because mood means frequency or a number that is repeated. So if it is not repeated, then don't expect uh, to have a mood. Uh, in the case that you have the most uh, repeated numbers or if we have a number repeated three times and a number repeated only two times then like the, the first row here then the mood will be the one which is repeated more the one which is repeated more this will be the mood again the mood it gives you like the common you can say what is the common wage in the production department huh? it's 100 dollars what is the common uh, wages or pays in the marketing department? They are 170. What are the common wages in the human resource department? They are 200. What are the common wages in the financing department? They are 180. What are the common wages in the logistics department? They are 300. Till here, please, I came to the end of this uh, lecture regarding how to apply the mood uh, in the business or how to do that with the Excel. Uh, shall I see you in a safe, stay safe and stay blessed. Thank you and have a good night. Bye-bye everybody.